Okay. All right. Hopefully uh, we won't have to adjust as we go, but today we're going to do a Tabata workout. So the Tabata timing is 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off, eight rounds. So instead of staying with the same exercise all eight rounds, which is a true Tabata, we're gonna break it up and we're gonna do a weight exercise and then we're gonna do a, a body weight exercise or a more of a dynamic exercise for the um, alternate. So we're gonna do weight, alternate exercise, weight, alternate exercise, okay? So you end up doing four rounds of each, but we're gonna alternate them. So it should be um, a good one because we're getting our heart rate up and we should keep it up, okay? If you have dumbbells, so I'm gonna show you dumbbells, weight plates, and a band, uh, because I know you guys have all different things, okay? I don't expect you to memorize uh, these exercises, but I'm going to demo like I always do. And then I will, before the exercise comes up, then I'll demo it again, okay? So you've done some of these before. So the first one is a goblet squat. So you can use a dumbbell here for your goblet squat. I want it up, um, elbows in, you're holding the head of the dumbbell. Toes, feet should be about hip width distance or shoulder width distance, toes turned out slightly, if that's comfortable for you. All right, so I'm starting nice and tall here. I'm gonna bring my butt back and down, hip crease a little lower than the knee and drive it up. All right, so this is my goblet squat here. If you have your weight plate, you can still grab and hold that weight plate. If you have a band, it's not really a goblet squat because you're not holding anything out in front of you, but you're holding the band out. So remember with the band, you're gonna put your feet in there and then spread it apart and then bring it up and that's gonna increase the resistance, okay? So basically you're doing a banded squat, okay? So the movement after the first weighted exercise, so our dynamic exercise, is a squat jack. So you're gonna jump out, touch the ground, and then jump back in. So out and in. So you're trying to go as fast as you can, staying low. So the side view here, I'm not butt up rounding my back. I keep my glutes low, chest is up. Touch the ground, stand up, quick feet in, quick feet out, alternate my hands with the touch, okay? Exercise two is a push press. So the push press is a dip, drive with your legs and press at the same time. Dip, drive and press. So it's not a squat, it's just a little dip. And you should be able to lift a little bit heavier with your push press. So if you have a variety of weights, go with your heavier weight. If you don't, then don't worry about it. So you have the weights here at your shoulders. Feet are right under your hips with this one. Dip, drive and press. Come back down. As I bring the weights down, I'm coming into my dip at the same time. So remember with the dip, butt comes back and it's not knees forward, okay? So butt back, dip, drive with the legs, squeeze your blood, your glutes, and press at the same time, okay? So if you don't have dumbbells, then you can use your weight plates, place your hands wherever it's comfortable for you. You still have your weight right by your shoulders, dip, drive, and press, okay? And then band, same thing, you're gonna step into it like you do with the squat, place it at your shoulders, dip and press. So make sure that you have enough stretch in that rope as you press. Dip, drive and press. Dip, drive and press. So it's more of a, an explosive movement. The alternate exercise with that is mountain climber. So you're gonna have shoulders over your wrist in that plank position, quads tight, glutes strong, core braced, and we're going Knees all the way up to the triceps. 
All right, so try to get them all the way up. Try to hollow out that belly to get create space for the knee to come all the way up to the tricep. All right, that's exercise two. Exercise three is a side or a lateral lunge with a press, and then we're doing a skater plyo. One weight. So I would go with a little bit um, lighter. So if you're doing a dumbbell, you can do two. If you have heavy dumbbells, then you may want to do one. So with two, you're here. These are a little too heavy for my press, but I'm going to do a lateral lunge. Butt out, chest is up. Okay. And then I drive back and I'm going to balance and then I press. Whew. All right. Lateral lunge, power back, balance, and press. If you do a single dumbbell, I want that dumbbell in the, the side that you lunge with. You're going to put the uh, dumbbell in that hand and then press up. All right. Okay. If you have weight plate, you can do the same thing. Um, with your band, what we did last week are the pull aparts. I would say side lunge, pull apart, press up. Side lunge, pull apart and press up. Okay. So that's your alternate there. So usually I have you with opposite dumbbell with the knee up. Today I want you same. So you're going to really have to balance and, uh, you don't have that balanced weight distribution. Now you have to fight it and work your core a little bit more. So that's gonna be one leg, one way, and then we'll go the other direction with the next exercise. But with both of those lateral lunges in between, we're doing skater plyo. So down, I want you to touch, touch the ground, bend the knees, hips, knees, ankle, okay? So lateral lunge and press right, Skater plyo, lateral lunge and press left, skater plyo. So that's exercise three and four. Exercise five is a step up. If you don't have a step, a bench, a chair, a sturdy box, then we're gonna do a lunge, okay? So your step up, all right, make sure that it's stable, first of all. Make sure that it's wide enough for one foot to go on, okay? So we're gonna step up and drive the knee up, step down and touch so that foot comes off. So right leg up, left leg drives up, left leg down, right leg down, okay? But so once we go down, we're alternating. So left leg up, drive the right knee down, touch. So alternate those. Okay, so our step up, we're alternating, driving the knee, no weight, and then our split lunge is in between. So we're here. Okay, so back and forth with that. And then exercise six, push up. So our regular getting strong with our push up. All right, try to go narrow here. Um, if you want to mix it up, you can and work on each set. Maybe you do a narrow, then maybe you do a diamond, then maybe you do a ricochet if you feel comfortable with that, or you can just work on your narrow push up. And then you're rolling onto your back and we're doing a cross toe touch. All right, working core. And then the last one is an alternate dumbbell snatch. And then we're going into a plank shoulder tap. So our dumbbell snatch, you just need one. Okay. I'll show you with a dumbbell. Usually you can go a little bit heavier with this. So you're going to bring your feet out and straddle the dumbbell. We're going to pick up that dumbbell. So almost like a deadlift here. Okay. Have that dumbbell in between my shoulders or in front of the uh, dumbbell. My, I'm not in a low squat position. My hips are up a little bit. I'm gonna keep that dumbbell in a straight line. Keep 
So my long arm is long. I keep that dumbbell basically right along parallel with my shin. I'm gonna bring my hips forward, squeeze my glutes. I shrug my shoulder up at the same time. Elbow high and outside, so I'm going fast here. So I really give a good hip extension, triple extension here, and I catch the weight down in this power position and then stand, okay? As I bring the weight down, I'm gonna bring the weight down as close to my body as possible. Touch and go. Shrug, elbow high and outside, pick it up, land, and then I bring it down. So we're alternating. It's up to you. You can do one set with all the right and then one set with all left, or you can alternate as you go. So you can catch and switch arms as you go, or you can place it down and then switch. So whatever you feel that you need to do, okay? So it is an alternating. So you can do a full set with your right, then a full set with your left, or you can alternate in that exercise for 20 seconds, okay? Key is to keep the weight close to your body. So if you have a weight plate here, you can place your fingers in that hole. All right, so we're here. Come up, elbows high and outside, triple extension, and then land right here. Okay, still want single arm. Then you can alternate down and go. Band is gonna be pretty challenging with that. So if you, do, if you have only a band to work with, I would say instead of doing an alternate dumbbell snatch, you're doing burpees, okay? So your burpee is gonna be down chest to ground, come up, clap at the top, okay? You can modify however you need to. If you don't wanna jump chest to ground, you can bring your feet in, bring your feet out, and then clap at the top, okay? The alternate exercise for a dumbbell snatch, plank, Shoulder tap, all right, so hand shoulder with distance. We're in plank position and we are tapping our shoulders. Try not to shift your body from side to side. Try to keep it nice and stable, all right? Okay, so those are the exercises that we're doing today for our Tabata timing workout. And if you have questions, you can holler it out. If not, we are going to get into our warm up, okay? All right. So, all right. So, let's start jogging in place. Let's start jogging in place. Jog in place. And we're gonna go seal jacks. So seal jacks, arms out, feet out, you're on your toes. We're doing both at the same time, not opposite. So arms come out and feet come out at the same time. Loosen up the chest for push-ups, loosen up the shoulder girdle. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Jog it out. Seal jacks. Seal jacks. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time. Jog it out. Sorry, guys. I'm plugging in my computer. Jog it out. Relax the shoulders, pump your arms, get some movement in there. And real jumping jacks, arms up and out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going reverse lunge, drive that knee up. Same leg. So do it 
doing some specific things that we're going to be doing in the exercise. Five, four, three, two, two. Hug that knee. Bring it back. Hug the knee. Step back. Hold here, modified lunge, drop the knee all the way down. Inhale, right arm comes forward. My right leg is back, left knee is forward. Right arm comes up and over. Good, inhale up, exhale down. Take that back, down dog, bicycle, driving one heel down and then the other heel down. Hold it down dog. Lift up onto your toes, walk your toes to your hands. Slowly come up and we're going other side, down and up. Reverse lunge, drive that knee up. Allow your arms to swing. Four, three, two, one, knee hug. Step back, knee hug again. Good, step back, drop the knee down. So my right leg is forward, left knee is down. Left arm, inhale up, exhale over. Lunge into it, feel the hip flexor stretch on the left. Good, inhale up, both arms up. Exhale down, step back, down dog again, bicycle. Drawing both heels down. Bring that left leg up to the sky. Open up the hips, bend the left knee, look under the right armpit. Find your foot, open up here. Good, straighten out the left leg, step all the way through with that left foot, runner's lunge. Shoulders down and back. We're going twist, right hand stays inside the foot, left arm is up. Inhale here, exhale down, two times. Inhale, open up, exhale down, last time inhale, open. Exhale down, step forward, fold. Reach back, interlace the fingers. Squeeze your shoulder blades, strain your arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades, lift the arms up and then bring your chin to your chest. Bend your knees a little bit here. Release the hands all the way down. Walking our feet back, down dog. Draw the heels down. Right leg lifts, open up the hips so you're getting your inner thigh stretch. Bend the right knee, look under the left armpit, find your toes. Straighten the right leg, take a giant step through with your foot. Runner's lunge, now we're on the right. Right foot forward, left leg back. Left hand inside the right foot, making sure your knee is over the ankle. Three times, inhale, open, exhale down, inhale, open, exhale down. So that left hand is really pushing down into the ground. Inhale, exhale down, step forward, fold again. You're gonna bend the right knee, and straighten the left. Left hand on top of your shoelaces on the right or on your shin. Inhale, right arm up. Find your thumb. Inhale here. Exhale down. Straighten the right leg, bend the left knee. Right hand on top of the left shoelaces or on your shin. Inhale, left arm to the sky. So it's a twist here. Find your thumb. Open up the low back. Reach the shoulder girdle out and stretch. Inhale here. Exhale, float down, bend the knees, and slowly roll up. All right, you guys. So, 
That's our warm up. Get what you need. Make sure you have your step available. And we're gonna get into our Tabata timing workout. So. All right, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, our first exercise, goblet squat with our squat jack. Ready, and go. Down and up, down and up for 20 seconds. Inhale down, exhale, come up. Keep that weight tight to your body. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Put that weight down. We're going skater plyos. Down, oh, uh, sorry. Um, squat jack, squat jack. Two, one, go. Squat jack. Down and up, down and up. Quick with your feet. Touch that ground. I want you to get as low as you can. Make sure your feet come all the way in and out. Three, two, one, rest. We have 10 seconds. Grab your goblet. Grab that weight for the goblet squat. Four, three, two, one. Feet turned out. Let's go. Down and up. Keep the heels down. If you need a wider stance, bring that wider stance up. Squeeze your butt at the top. Five, four, three, two, one. One, weight comes down. We're going squat jack. Four, three, two, squat jack, go. Come on. Breathe it out. Get the glutes low. Touch the ground. Keep the chest lifting. Look straight ahead if you can. Three, two, one, rest. Going back to our goblet squat. Grab your weight. Keep it up. Nice and tight. Toes turned out slightly. Here we go, goblet squat. Don't short yourself that range of motion. All the way down and up. 10 seconds. Think about trying to spread your feet apart. I'm trying to do the splits with my feet. Work the glutes and rest. We're going back. Jump squat. Squat jack. Squat jack. Out and in. Come on. Out and in. Keep it up. Five, four. Don't stop. The whole idea is to burn it out, get tired. Now we rest. Five seconds. We have two more rounds, one of each. Here we go, goblet squat, let's go. Down and up. Come on, halfway. Four, three, two, one, rest. And last time we're going our squat jack. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat jack. Come on, quick feet. Stay tight. Move a little bit faster. This is the last one. Four, three, two, one, and rest. So we have one minute in between each exercise. Grab water if you need it. Next exercise is our push press and our mountain climbers. So grab your dumbbells, your weight plates, or your band. We need two this time, okay? Grab your water. So in between each exercise, we have one minute rest, 30 more seconds.
So you see how it works now. We do weight with the other exercise dynamic or movement. All right, so push press and mountain climbers. With your mountain climbers, I really want you to focus on getting your knees all the way up to your triceps. Grab your weight. We have our dip, drive and press. Three, two, one, and go. Dip, drive and press. Inhale and exhale. Remember it's a dip. It's not even a power squat. It's a dip. Two, one, and rest. 10 seconds. Get down for your mountain climber. Five, four, two, one, and go. Come on. On your toes, try to move. You may have a slight round in the upper back, just slight here. Shoulder down and back. Three, two, one, rest. So your heart rate's getting up. You're going push press. Grab your weights. Weights by your shoulders, here we go. Dip, drive, and press. Dip, drive, and press. Squeeze the glutes. Come on, work through it. Two, one, and rest. If you have heavier weights, don't drop it. Keep pushing through. You only have two more sets with the heavy weight. Get down. Mountain climbers, here we go. Come on. Mountain climbers, let's go. Spread your fingertips out. Try to get a pace. Maybe go a little bit faster. Last five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Shake it out. It's a lot on the shoulder. Five seconds. Dip, drive, and press. Here we go. Let's go. Dip, drive, and press. This is round three of four with your push press. Keep it strong. If you have to, if you absolutely have to, you have heavy weight, then have one dip, drive, and press at the center. All right? So you can grab the head of the dumbbell. But try to push it out. We only have one more set of heavy. Mountain climbers, two. One, let's go. Come on, breathe it out. Let's go. Move, I'm gonna watch you guys, 10 seconds. Good. Try to get your knee all the way up there. Don't just move, get the knee all the way up. Work that core and rest. Stand up, last set here. Last set of push press. Here we go. One and go. See how many you can get. Come on. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Mountain climbers. Last set. Four. Three, two, one, go. Almost. Keep working. Don't stop. Don't stop. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. One minute rest. Shake it out. Come on, work that lactic acid through. Shake out your shoulders. Shake out your arms. We're going into our lateral lunge with our press. One or two weights. If you only have a band, you're going lateral lunge with the pull apart and up. Remember the weight, single or double. We're gonna step out, we're stepping out. You choose right or left, but we're sticking to the same one. And then same arm up. So 
So I'm stepping out with my left. Left arm comes up and presses. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Lateral lunge and press. Here we go. Down and up. You can use two weights if you want to. Down, butt out, chest is up. And rest. So in between, we're going skater plyo. I want to hop to the side, down and touch. Back leg can touch. Here we go. Skater plyo. Come on. Pace yourself and try to stick to that same pace. Go. Come on. Five, four, three, one, rest. Same leg. Stepping out and press. It's going to be a little harder with our heart rate's up. Let's go. Bobble lunge and press. Stick that balance. Knee is up. Work your core. Keep it braced so you don't lean too much. If you want to take the press out of it, just hold. The knee up. Rest. If you want to take the press out, lunge and then hold knee up. Here we go. Skater plyo. Go. Come on, skater plyo. Try to hop and explode a little bit further than you did last time. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Same arm, same side. Still stepping out. Here we go. Lateral lunge and press. Find that balance, stick and press. 10 seconds. If the weight is too heavy, then pause at the top, rest. If the weight is too heavy, just focus on the lateral lunge. Skater plyo, two, one, go. Skater plyo, come on. Bend your knees, bend your hips, get down and touch the ground. So I don't want you reaching here. Bend the hips, bend the knees, get down low. Four, three, two, rest. Last time with each, grab that weight. Still stepping to the same side. Let's go. Butt out, chest is up. Come on, we're halfway. Don't stop. Quality, breathe it out. Find that strength and power here. Dig deep and rest. Skater plyo. Five, three, two, one, go. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. One minute. Grab your water. Next round is exercise four. We're going side lunge with the other side. Knee drive, elbow, uh, arm high, press. All right? In between, we're still doing skater plyos. This time with our skater plyo, I want you to work on exploding, stick it, back leg is up and you're not touching. So you're gonna explode, stick, back leg is up. All right, so find that pause when you hop to the side. All right, really work on that explosion, pause. We have 10 seconds. Grab the weight in the other arm, step over to the other side. 
Get ready. Two, one, go. Side lunge, lateral lunge, knee up and press. Gather your focus. Find your balance. The leg that is extended. Find your balance. Me too, I need to. And rest. So the leg that's extended, make sure that that foot is grounded. All right, we're not on the inside arch. Four, three, skate your plyo and stick it. And let's go. Stick it. Back leg is up. We're not touching. Use your arms. Use your legs. Use the glutes. Find that stability. If you're all over the place, slow it down. Rest. Grab your weight. Side lunge, lateral lunge with our press. Here we go. Down. Find your focus and press. One side may be a little bit better than the other. Take note of that. Focus a little bit more. Four, three, one, and rest. Here we go. Explode. Three, two, one. Use your arms. Stick it. Stick that plyo. Explode using that glute. And as you do that, land. Stick. Balance with the other glute. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. If you're having an issue balancing with your side lunge, find a spot on the floor, stare at that spot. Here we go. Side lunge with your press. Come on. Think about neutral spine. Four, three, neutral spine. Rest. Four, three, two, one. Skater. Here we go. Power to the side. Stick it. So once you have the stick, try to go a little bit faster. But if you feel that you're off balance, then pause. Rest. We have two more. One of each. Four, three, two, one. Side lunge with our press. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Last time, skater. If you've been starting with one side, start with the other side. Here we go. Go. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Come on, get further than you did before. Two, one, rest. Good job. All right. Three more exercises to go. We have our step up next. Grab your step. Make sure it's sturdy. Remember, we're alternating with each step. No weight. Full foot on the step. With your knee drive, step down all the way and alternate. Make sure you're balanced. If you're not balanced, then bring the other foot on and forget the knee drive, okay? So whatever is safest for you, don't focus on the knee drive, focus on the step up first. Ground that foot, knee over the ankle, full foot down, drive through the big meaty muscle. All right, three, two, one, let's go, step ups. Alternate with that knee drive. 
exhale and inhale. So inhale down, drive it, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Rest. So we have our split lunge. So we're here, lunge. Here we go. Split lunge, let's go. Split lunge. If you need to step it back and walk through it, step it back and walk through it. Modification is here. Modification is here. Rest. Grab your step. If you don't have a step, you are doing a forward lunge. All right? Let's go. Step up. Step up. Knee drive. Come on. Chest is tall. Use your arms. Power. One. Rest. Make sure you have enough room for your split squat. With your arms, you're using your arms with that split squat. So it's not how high you lift right now. It's how quick you're moving. So I want that transition quickly. Force on the ground, switch, switch, switch. Use your arms, rest. Grab your step, four, three, two, one, Go, step up, knee drive. Come on. Focus on what you're doing. Full foot, not just the ball of your foot on that step. Three, two, one, rest. Five, four, three, two, one, split squat, let's go. So you can do double arm, you can do single arm. With your single arm, it's opposite arm and leg, okay? So think about what you're doing. Arms do a lot for your body, and quickness, and movement. Rest. Two more, one of each, here we go. Start with the opposite leg you've been starting with. Here we go. Full foot on. Almost done with exercise five. Keep it going. Don't stop. Six seconds left. Two, one, and rest. Last foot squat. Four, three, Two, one, let's go. Try to get a little lower, but then explode. Explode, I don't want higher. Get lower in quickness. Come on, three, two, one, and rest. Shake it out. One minute, grab your water. Feel it getting hot here. Getting hot in here. Push up, cross toe touch. Next round is our push up and cross toe touch on your back. We have 30 more seconds. Remember cross toe touch here. Try to twist and come up shoulder blades need to be up off the ground with your push up. Pace yourself, all right? So we're ending up doing only four rounds. You can do it. Pace yourself for the full 20 seconds. If you need to drop to your knees, then drop to your knees, but try to start on your hands. Two, one, go. Let's go, push-ups. Come on. Not meant to be easy. Think about why you're working out. Make that change and keep going. Five, four, three, 
two, one, and rest. So just slow and controlled and get you there, all right? Four, three, two, one, cross toe touch. Come on, almost there. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Flipping over to our push ups. We have one round of those complete. Let's go. Two, one, here we go. You want to change it up? Change it up. Maybe you go wider. Maybe you go staggered. Maybe you stay the same with narrow. Abs tight, quads tight, squeeze your glutes. Three, two, one, rest. Roll onto your back. Two, one, cross toe touch. Come on, think about why you woke up at 10. Virtual training, why are you here? Don't stop, keep pushing. Two, one, rest. Five, four, three push-ups, two, one, go. Push-ups, let's go. If you need to drop to your knees, maybe try one knee down and come up. Don't short yourself, challenge, rest. So give yourself a little bit more credit than you have. Do it, push through. Here we go, cross toe touch. Come on. Two, one, rest. Flip over. Push ups. Three, two, one, go. Last set. Here we go. Push ups. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Last set of cross toe touch, and then one more exercise. Three, two, one, here we go. Ten. Two, one, and rest. Nice work. We have one more exercise. One minute in between here. It's our alternating dumbbell snatch with our plank shoulder tap. So, I know your shoulders might be a little tired. They feel worked. You can stretch out your shoulder in between. Shake it out. We have 30 more seconds. So your snatch with your weight. Remember, weight is in the center. You're gonna straddle the weight. I'm picking up that weight, bending my knees. And my hips are a little bit higher, similar to my deadlift. Pick it up, straight line, catch at the top, and stand. Bring it right down, and I can alternate each one or do two, whatever you feel. Here we go, alternating. Down and up. Whatever you want, if you keep it the same arm the whole time, do it. Two, one, and rest. We're going plank shoulder taps. 
plank shoulder taps. Here we go, plank shoulder taps. Keep it going. Plank shoulder taps. Two, one, rest. Stand it up. This is our last explosive exercise, dumbbell snatch. Here we go. Alternating, dumbbell snatch, let's go. Think about what you're doing. Keep good form. The weight should be close to your body. Using your lower body to get that weight up, get the hip extension, and all the way up with the arm. Rest, rest. Plank tap, shoulder tap. This is our easy one, plank shoulder tap. Here we go. 20 seconds. This is our rest. Play shoulder tap. Put more pressure on your toes. If you put more pressure on your toes and try to spread your toes out, that'll keep your hips a little bit more stable and work through the core. Rest. Grab your weight. Position your body for your dumbbell snatch. This is round three. Here we go. Alternating dumbbell snatch. Maybe we start with our left and not with our right. Come on. Drive it. Find that explosiveness through this lift. And rest. Five, four, three, two, one, plank shoulder taps, here we go. Feel your body nice and stable, very slight movements through your hips. I can balance a bar going across your low back. And rest. One more round, one more round of each. If you started left last time, let's start right. Here we go. Alternating. Last time. Try to stay with the same rep count that you've been doing. Don't short yourself. One, and rest. Done with our snatch. Done with the weight. Shoulder taps last. Here we go. Go, shoulder taps. Breathe it out. Come on, come on. Keep it going, you're almost there. Almost there. Two, one, and rest. Nice work, you guys. Great job. Woo! So shake out the arms. I want you guys to slowly start to bring your heart rate down. Just stepping to the side. It's hot out. You need to drink a lot of water today. All right. We're going to go into a down dog. Stretch out a little bit. I want you to go into a wide stance down dog. So our hands are shoulder width distance. We're gonna bring our feet wide, almost like a straddle. Bring your right hand to the center and then push that right hand forward. Your glutes are gonna reach up. You want your left hand to reach just below your knee. If you can reach your left hand on the right leg or ankle, go lower. So my right arm is pushing forward my left arm is grabbing my right lower leg and bend the elbow. Look up to the sky under the right arm. <sighs> Hamstrings, calf, we're twisting, low back, shoulder girdle. Let's breathe here. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale completely. Keep going, keep exhaling. Good, and release. 
We're going left hand to the center, push that left hand forward, and then reach your right hand to that left lower leg as low as you can reach. Deep breaths, look up to the sky under the left arm. Heels are down. Deep breaths, complete inhalations and complete exhalations. Try to bend the right elbow a little bit more to twist a little bit more. Deep breath in. Exhale completely. Both hands back to the center. Feet together. Drop the knees down, drop the toes down, come into child's pose. Bring your forehead all the way out to the ground. Good, come up. We're gonna go into a pigeon stretch. Right leg comes up, right leg through. Drop the left leg down. So if my body's at 12 o'clock, my right knee is at two o'clock. Imagine your shin, your right shin parallel to the edge of a mat or a towel. I'm sinking my pelvis down, my belly down, my forearms are connecting to the ground. As I draw my forearms toward my body, that's gonna bring my body forward so I feel a little bit more stretch in that glute area. Right glute. Good. Roll the left toes under and walk it up. Just take a step back and do a little bicycle here with the legs drawing the heels down. And we're going to take the left leg up and through. Pigeon stretch on the left. Bringing the right leg down. Try to bring the right leg back a little bit so you can create some space for that pelvis. Sink your pelvis. Try not to sit on the left glute, so center yourself. Belly down, forearms connect down. Draw your forearms toward your body, and that will bring your body forward. Deep breaths. Slowly decreasing the heart rate. And walk it up, release. And we're gonna come into plank. And then let's slowly lower down all the way onto our belly. And come up into sphinx. So our elbows right by our ribs. Come up, shoulders down and back. And then lower down, we're gonna go into a knot with our arms. So my left arm is gonna walk forward. My right arm is gonna walk under my left in between the floor and my left arm. So right hand walks over to the left, crawl, 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 turn the palm up and then center, square your shoulders to the ground. So my chin is hanging over the upper arm on my right. Left arm is reaching forward and grounding. So you should be feeling this in the back of your right shoulder. Try to draw the shoulder down. Deep breaths as you expand your back with that last part of your breath. You feel that stretch through the upper back and then exhale completely. And then slowly come out of this and walk your right hand forward. Left arm walks over to the right, turn your palm up, square your shoulders to the ground. Chin is hanging over the upper arm or my shoulder on my left. Deep breaths. So my left arm, the palm is up, my right hand, the palm is down. I'm trying to bring my right shoulder down and my left shoulder out a little bit. So I feel the back, the posterior part of my left shoulder stretch. Deep breath in. Exhale completely. Slowly come out. 
So I'm gonna roll onto my right side, grabbing my left quad, my left shoelaces to stretch out my left quad. Good, release, roll onto your back, bring your right uh, left knee into the chest, left leg up to the sky, point and flex, the toe, knee to chest, Good. Bring your right knee in, so both knees to chest, rock side to side. Left leg extends down, right knee to chest. Right leg up, hamstring, and then point and flex the toe. Hold. Knee to chest again. Roll onto your left side. Grab your right shoelaces. Quad stretch. Almost done here. So if your knee's popping up to the sky, bring the knee down. Hips forward, knee back and down. And release. Let's push up into down dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Forward fold, bend the knees, and then slowly roll up. Inhale, reach, and exhale, arms down. And you guys are done. Thank you, have a great day, and I will see you guys next week. All right, stay cool today. It's supposed to be super hot. Drink lots of water. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you.